Hey there friends, how's it going? It's your favorite desperate housewife, call me Kevin. <laughs> and today we're going to be continuing on with the Pickens family. Last time we saw the starting of a bit of a mystery, the guy was opening a box and he was like, Wow! Oh, 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 and backed off into a wall or something. He seemed pretty terrified, so I'm hoping it's actually something good. Like Lynette's head or something in there because the last story was a letdown We thought our kid was gonna like kill someone uh, when in reality he was playing video games I mean, I'm already playing video games. I don't think it's that dramatic. Let's go kill some neighbors All right, I gotta go talk to that fella who opened the box apparently he's ruffled feathers Which is a serious crime in the housewife world Hello, neighbor. Oh, it's you again. There's something wrong. You seem especially crabby today. <laughs> she just said hello. Have you talked to Mike Delfino about his mutt? So I like how she walks off screen as she's asking as well. Oh, this is actually a conversation. Okay, no, not yet. Well, then. God, for an old person, she has very good hearing. <laughs> it looks like she's continuing to walk away. Yeah, look how far away she was. I can't even see her. Where the hell was she? Yeah, she's well feckin' gone. I hope I have her hearing when I'm her age. The ripe old age of 32. All right, I'm gonna go find out what the story is with the dog. Why am I such a bright, luminous yellow? Is that just what's in fashion now? I don't know much about fashion. I just wear black. All right, Mike, come on. Some old hag has sent me over here to deal with your dog. Don't sit down, I just knocked. Shut it, Mike. What is Bongo's life worth to you? <laughs> what's up? I have information regarding a threat against Bongo's life. What is this information worth to you? I don't care what grudge she holds holds against him, but I have a strong opinion on what you should hold against me. Am I flirting? Is this flirting? Well, thanks. Well, thanks. I don't think he knows either. My bet is that she did it herself and is fishing for an excuse to save face. Oh, well in that case, you're totally reasonable. I'm going to kiss you now. Oh, Mike, talking about killing your dog just gets me in the mood. Come here, you. Follow me to the bedroom. I knew talking about his dog dying would be the right way to get him to bed. <laughs> Mrs. Davenport, being an elderly widower on a fixed income, probably has a price for which she can be bought to make the unpleasantries go away. Why has this got even anything to do with me? I don't care about this old woman's garden, and I don't care about that guy's dog. Oh shit, no, YouTube commenters care about dogs. I, I love dogs guys. I will fix this problem. Ah, it was the kids all along. We'll put the kids down. Okay, they've actually led a, a trail of footprints behind them. <gasps> it's Lynette's kids. Oh, fantastic. I've gossip on her now. Let me go over there and tell her how bad of a parent she is. We're not supposed to talk to strangers. You're not supposed to ruin people's gardens either, but that didn't stop you, did it, you little fecker? Would you consider me a stranger if I had some chocolate for you? I wouldn't be a stranger then, would I? Purchase a box of chocolates from the pharmacy and bring it back to the kids to finally get some questions answered. This is starting to become a little bit creepy. All right, buy this love heart box of chocolates for them. I'm going to get arrested. I like how I just park on the crosswalk there. <laughs> Rules don't apply to Jamanta. All right, kids, I've returned with candy. I'm giving out to them. Oh my God, I think I just struck their child. Good. We don't want to end up like her husband buried in her garden. Wait, what? Use the confession to pin the blame on them. This will obviously not show well for Lynette and Tom. But yeah, that, that's fine. I don't care. I'll do that. I'm happy to see their reputation decrease in the neighborhood. I want everyone to know how bad parents they are. Unlike me, I keep my kid in line. Unless you have proof otherwise, you are going to have to try harder next time. Oh, for, for feck's now, sake. Need... I can show you that muddy footprints lead right to them. Look, Lynette, I gave your 10-year-old a Valentine's gift and he he confessed everything. I don't have time for small talk, Lynette, <laughs> even though I showed up at her door. Hey! Well, I have to go now. <laughs> Next time, keep an eye on your kids. You're very lucky I value our friendship. Why? I'm just horrible to you. I call around, steal your stuff, hit you, try and hit on your husband and your kids, apparently. <laughs> Alright, apparently I need to look up about her husband on my computer. Christ almighty. I, I mean, Jamenta must have nothing better to be doing. She always makes a big deal out of feckin' nothing, and it's never her business anyway. Cardiac arrest, he was a loving husband, blah blah blah. Okay, that's not very much of an obituary. Literally just said, yo, he died. He had a wife. <laughs> God, I hope I get a better one than that. Wait, okay, he was married to someone else. Okay, that's fine, I'll just go blackmail her. Now the sobbing routine, I'm so over you and your act. Imagine, <laughs> imagine it wasn't true. It was some other unrelated person. Thanks for clearing that situation up. Not a bother. But I'm afraid just talking about your dead dog again well, has got me all riled up. Get those sweet buns upstairs right now. 
There's plenty more where that came from. All right, now I should actually find out what's going on in the story. I got a little bit sidetracked. Oh, wait, I have to go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep then. <laughs> I just knocked at his door and then ran away. God, the mood thing is so stupid in this game. It's like to get your mood up, you just need to spam the same thing. It's as if in The Sims, you had to get your sleep up by taking a nap repeatedly. Answer the feckin' door. I saw you in there a second ago. You're doing a fashion show right here in Fairview and you want us as models? I'll be your model. Yes. I'm going to make the five most popular women in Fairview my models. Obviously, relationships with other people are very important as well. Oh, no, that's not good. I mean, I have great relationships with the men in the town. Does that count? Hello. May I speak with the lady of the house, please? You rang my mobile. It's me. Yeah, even she says it. This is my personal cell phone, doctor. Who else did you expect to answer? Ah, how have you been? Oh, yeah, just disregard my question. I suppose. Until then. Oh, feck's sake, now I gotta go see him. What a needy bastard. I know he's my therapist and all, but still, he's the needy one, not me. I have no problems. Purchase a combined total of $1,000 worth of upgrades for my home. I can do that. Oh, wait, I can change my house? Wow, this is the best game ever. I'm changing my son's room, too. He deserves an upgrade. I'm gonna make it pink, because I wanted a daughter, and he's a disappointment. All right, I think everything is upgraded. I hope everyone likes it. Wait, I don't think I have enough yet. All right, I'm gonna have to change some more stuff. What the hell? I've just redesigned my entire house and I mean other than it looking great it accomplished nothing Maybe I should just tend to my garden. Oh my god. It's feckin destroyed. Where's that bug spray? Yeah, I kind of planted these all on the first day and then I just forgot about them I don't really understand how the gardening works. All right. They're all watered now. Now what do I do? Am I done? Welcome to your I, No, I don't want to learn about it I know I was saying I don't know how to do it, but I want it to stay that way I don't want any room in my brain taken up by that knowledge. Oh my god raise your friendship and respect levels to a combined total of 100 or higher to befriend Lynette. That's what I have to do. Why couldn't it be anyone else in the neighborhood? All right, let's go visit that entitled bitch. <laughs> Honestly, she's probably like the nicest person in the neighborhood. I just decided she was going to be my enemy. It's like feckin' Ned Flanders. Hey! Howdly doodly, Jamanta. Wait, befriend Lynette? Is it done? Really? Oh, slap her then. This is a good day. Um, All right, back home to clean. A wife's work is never done. Can my husband not clean? He does nothing but work. Surely he can find a hobby in cleaning. Dirty objects, sink. Okay, why am I feckin' doing this? Wait, I can upgrade this stuff too? Maybe that's what they were on about. Upgrade it. Oh, that's done. Okay, that's all I needed to do. Okay, well, I repainted each wall like three times trying to spend enough money. But that's all I needed to do, apparently. Oh my god, look at my son's room. It's a feckin' state. Got him that brand new carpet and he just wrecks the gaff. Hey, Daniel, I made my bed. Can I be a model now? <laughs> Why is this guy acting like my parent? It's like, oh, you can be a model after you clean your room. <laughs> Oh, there's one kid missing. Probably got abducted by another crazy woman with heart-shaped chocolates. You have definitely earned your position. Yes, I'm going to be a model. However, what? You have some time before the presentation. It would probably be best if you tied up the rest of those loose ends. How did you hear about my therapy appointment? Has he been calling you too? <laughs> Probably calling his mobile like, can I speak to the lady of the house? <laughs> ah, for feck's sake, I've missed his appointment now. I was supposed to go before 5 p.m. Well, I'll just go to sleep, I guess. <laughs> I'm also gonna upgrade my bed. Very good. There we go. <laughs> no reason at all. Oh my god, where did all my money go? I didn't realize it would cost that much to get this basically royalty bed. <laughs> What? What's it doing? What? Okay, she got out of bed at 10 p.m. and then it just became morning. <laughs> so I guess she napped from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m., got out of bed and just stood there idle for like 10 hours. It's like as if I'm even gonna pay attention to this guy. It's a waste of money. But I am my husband's paying for it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Where is he? Oh, he just appeared there. What the hell? Well, good to know my therapist is a magician. Can you just make my problems disappear? <laughs> Lamest oh, business card ever. Okay, apparently it's time for me to become a model now. Now that I've had my therapy. <laughs> I wonder was he trying to say that I needed a therapist by making me get therapy before I could be the model? No, that can't be it. My person's stable. Competition. Wait, it's what is this? I thought I was getting to be a model. Why am I watching children play? 
Oh, my person's so creepy. <laughs> First she gives them heart-shaped chocolates, and now she's just standing watching them play. This is all this is. I thought I was going to get to be a proper model, not just stand on a stage in front of, like, the only two people in the neighborhood who aren't standing on the stage. And what the hell was with the box in the last episode? We didn't figure out anything. I'm so disgruntled, and even Lynette was up there, and she didn't even put in the effort. She was just wearing the clothes she wears around the house while taking care of her kids. She doesn't deserve to be up there with Jamanta. Oh, some sneaky guy leaving me some mail. Chase him in her car. Chase him in her car. Knock him down. Knock him down. She's going straight for the mailbox. She wants to see what it is. Ah, come on. He couldn't have disappeared. It's a cul-de-sac. There's only one way in and out. There's so much going on in this story, and it doesn't seem to get answers. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. There's only one way to relieve this stress. I'm sorry, son. <laughs> we can't afford a boxing bag. I spent all of our money on flooring and wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> this poor kid needs to move out immediately. I don't ever want you to hit me. I know you don't want it, but you know what? Sometimes wanty does not getty. Well, in this case, sometimes not wanty doesn't mean you don't getty. <laughs> now I'll hit man. I love hit man. <laughs> I've been wanting to slap you, so I did. I liked it too, so you might want to brace yourself for more. Jesus Christ, she should be thrown in jail. If you slap me again, I'll do something about it. Good for you, dude. You should. You should definitely call the cops. I'm gonna slap him again. What the hell was that for? Okay, an empty threat. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go primp. I've apparently got to go pick a dress. God, I love video games. I'm saying this as if I'm forced to play this. Desperate Housewives, the video game. It's like I'm willingly playing this. I could be playing Call of Duty or something, but no. I'm playing Desperate Housewives. Do you know which colors you want? Yeah, definitely. So what color did you want the dress? Oh, I don't actually get to customize the outfit. High vis yellow it seems to be my color, so I'll just stick to that. All right, well, now that I've picked my dress, I didn't think I'd ever say that in a video game. I think we should finish up for the day. But I hope you enjoyed. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. We didn't find out what was in that box. I really wanted to know. Hey, oh god, someone's calling me. Uh, no, I'm doing an outro. Go, go away. Okay, she's probably gonna blackmail me into doing something. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Desperate Housewives. Go tell your friends that you've been watching Desperate Housewives. I appreciate you watching as always, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye for now.